today on Why I Kept It, Isle of Trains. I've talked a lot on this show about small box card games. You know, you put them in your pocket, you take them out with a group, you got a lot of people, only a few people, maybe some new gamers, some experienced gamers. It usually doesn't matter. In this case, this is a game for the more experienced set. It's surprising to me. I don't expect something to come in this tiny little box and pack a 45 minute strategy game punch, but Isle of Trains does, and that is why I've kept it. It is the ultimate in flexibility. You expect a light game, a party game, or a pickup game out of this package? No, you're getting a big box strategy game in the teeny tiny little box. Uh, this box size is referred to as the Rabbits. You rem may remember that Kickstarter. Uh, it came from Dice Hate Me a few years ago. You had to kickstart six games. It was the Rabbits collection. Six games at a time, I expected them to be, you know, pick up filler games, that type of thing. Isle of Trains was the standout of that collection. Totally surprised me. Uh, you see the designer name on the cover there, Seth Jaffe. Maybe that was a tip-off. He's got a couple good strategy games under his belt, most notably Eminent Domain, uh, one of the early innovative deck builders. So kudos to Seth for putting out a great game here. But let me show you how Isle of Trains actually plays. Not in heavy detail here, but I'll give you the overview. You are building a train. Take a look at this. You got an engine card here that you're going to start with. And you can start adding cars to it. Say I want to add this hopper car on the back of my engine. In order to fulfill contracts, which is the whole point of the game, I'm going to have to add goods into these cards. I'm going to load them up and I'm going to show, hey, I've got the oil and the coal. I've got the right quantity required to fulfill one of these contracts. You get points there by building a good train and by filling the contracts. But it's pretty quick. Like I said, 45 minute game. So there's six contracts out on the table. As soon as they're all gone, boom, the game's over. You count up your points. But the one thing I really like about this type of game is multi-use cards. Whenever you get a deep strategy game in this small of a deck, it's got to have that element to it. So if I have my hopper car here, I see that if I add some coal to it, I can load it in and take a little action. I have a choice here. Hey, I could add a tanker car on or I can turn it and use this symbol up here, coal, to load up the hopper car. Now, there's some other flexibility here. You know, if you get extra engines, you can see they've got all three of the resources. You just got to pick one. And there's some other iconography that shows you, you know, this is how much that engine can pull. This is how many points the cards are worth at the end of the game. And there's other things in here. There's cabooses you can add to the back of your train uh, that give you special abilities. And there are buildings you might see along your train route that you can add in that give you extra scoring potential at the end of the game. All things considered, really tight package, short 45 minute strategy game in a small box. You gotta love that. Back at BGG Con 2015, I even got a chance to play test uh, expansion for this that's gonna come out at some point, hopefully this year, that actually turns the game into a, a full pick up and deliver game. So the, the contracts, when you lay them out, look like an island of trains, as the name implies. And it kind of looks like a cool map, but you don't use the map for anything. You just take the cards from it to collect your points. That will change, and you'll start moving around the map a bit in the expansion. Uh, we'll see what it looks like in its final form. Like I said, this was a over a year ago playtest, but excited to see it because this is one of my favorite little games. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you need some flexibility in your collection, you gotta consider Isle of Trains. See you around.